let me ask you a question. What would a magic show be like without a card trick? Probably better. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Here's the deal. I'm not somebody that does a lot of card tricks. As a matter of fact, I'm not very good at it. But what I do have, I have with me a little policy here. It is my card trick policy. I can do any card trick and I'm guaranteed to get it right because I paid for the policy. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, uh, you, sir, behind the camera, would you do me a favor and uh, I'm just going to run through the cards and you tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there? Right there. Take a look at the card. Yes. Okay. You've had a good look at it. Now, I'm going to attempt to figure out your card. It was, it was the three of clubs, yes? No. No. Uh, uh, let me try it again. It was the uh, uh, two of diamonds. No. Nope. Okay. Third time's a charm. I, I tell you what, just so that I don't completely make a fool out of myself, I do have my official card trick insurance policy. Now, the fine print here says that I'm going to get it right. So uh, let me have a look here and see. You actually made the choice. <laughs> you chose Jesus, yes? No. No. Well, uh, maybe you don't know that you chose Jesus. Um, I tell you what, go ahead and tell me what card did you land on? The King of Hearts. Oh, well, that works, you see. The reason that works is because, you see, Jesus is the King of Hearts. So, in essence, I, I did get it right because Jesus is the King of Hearts. And let me tell you something. If, if you're following Jesus, then he wants to be the King of your heart, too.